never sort of dig on a, on a level like that. It's supposed to be five meters away from the building, as you can see, it's not. And this platoon has now got to be 2.5 meters deep. That's going to be a bit of a setback. I've got to be really, really careful when I'm digging around this. Hopefully Joe and Ollie kept you occupied yesterday and the uh, standard of recording was up to my usual stuff. You know, I'm sure it was. You were left in very capable hands. So, as you saw, they started digging the footings out. So I'm gonna be jumping on the digger this morning. I'm getting a load more of this out. Grab lorry is here now. Oh, here's Joe. The grab lorry is here. We well, always use MJ Grab Hire. Really good, quick service. All the guys are really good drivers as well. So they're just clearing away this load. They're coming back at lunchtime for load two. So no pressure on us whatsoever to get another load ready. What I'm going to do now is jump on the digger and carry on building. and our little planks will be set up here in the way. So all I'm gonna do is part these up here with a pencil and we can whip this out of the way, keep our pegs in so I can get a bit further over. And then if we need to get a line back in there without slipping over, we can just drop that back in and screw it in. I'm digging the trench out, the bucket stays nice and level. You never sort of dig on a, on a level like that. So what we're doing is I've got the line disappeared. Sorry, Jay. <laughs> so we're just going to pull it back in again. And then all I'll do is I'll bring the digger here and I can then work the line again. Keep the digger up nice and level, we shall see. I'm going to actually do it with the blade. Diesel, always red diesel, a lot, lot cheaper to run. So what I can do is just the machines are running low, don't want to run out. Just wrapping up this one now, and then we can crack on with the dig. You see the existing wall in the old days you used to go across this way. Yeah. So what we're going to do is just literally get your big breaker over there. We've got power, is it yeah, powered all, in? Yeah, all ready to go. So just whack your ear fenders on, let's just get that broke. In fact, just step past it about an inch, just so the blade doesn't get knocked on it. Is that the centre of the foot in there, or is that's it that the one? That's the centre, and that's the centre. So, so, beautiful. So why did Boom. Boom, let's smash it, let's crack on. In this foot in here, you can see all the soak away. It's supposed to be five meters away from the building, but as you can see, it's not. <laughs> so it's probably about, I don't know, two and a half. So, a bit of a mess, really, isn't it? When we're ready to go. We can then dig this section out here, can't we? Because this reveals only about there where that soak away is, really. So, this can then come off here. That can be dug out, then last thing, can't it? We're going to have to move these boards. We'll clear this out here. 
because uh, if we don't, we're not going to be able to dig this last button here, mate. So we'll just strike everything and then we're ready to go then. Yeah. So guys, that is the end of day four. We've been doing a lot more digging today, but like we mentioned before, I'm gonna be showing you exactly what goes wrong on jobs. It's something that hasn't really gone wrong. It's beyond our control, but we've had building control out today. And because of that tree there, this foot in along here, and this foot in which is going to go along there has now got to be 2.5 meters deep, which is very deep. So that's gonna be a bit of a setback. There is one saving grace, is that instead of doing this whole foot in into, down to 2.5 meters, we're actually gonna put a pad in here and a pad down in that corner there, down to 2.5 meters, and then we're gonna span across with lintels. Because if you remember from when I showed you the plan, this gable here is actually all just gonna be glass. So there's not gonna be much weight in it. Obviously there's gonna be a lot of weight because it's, it's glass is heavy, but because of the lintels, we can put the lintels in and that will be good. That will save a lot of digging there. But this footing along here is gonna have to be 2.5 meters deep. It's probably gonna be realistically another week now before we can get everything poured. But what we may do is actually pour this section first, get these, get these bits dug down, get this poured so that's all ready to go and then dig this out afterwards. Because we've got to go so deep and we're gonna have a narrow little walkway to get through here we don't want any risk of collapse so just to play it safe we're going to get this all done first hopefully and then dig this afterwards so bit of a pain but unfortunately these sort of things happen you know we have to get over it and that's just the nature of the job really so like i say that is day four done i'm going home now and i will see you in the morning for day five like I said yesterday, we've got some additional dig out to do today. So we're doing a bit of preparation. I've kind of got some shutter in ply because we're going to need to put some nice baseboards down to dig off. We're also going to make a bit of a track for the tack barrows. Morning, Joe. Morning. So we're going to make a bit of a track for the tack barrows around here because it's getting pretty boggy, which is always the way when you get to this stage of a build, unfortunately. So what we've got to do, Tony had a word with the structural engineers last night and we're going to dig down here and here, a meter in and a meter in there. And then we're gonna shutter that off, backfill the middle with MOT. And then there'll be two effectively pillars which will sit this end and that end. And then we're gonna run some concrete lintels across here for the wall to be built up of. That's gonna save us quite a lot of time and also money and concrete. So that's a good thing done. We're gonna get all this dug out today as much as we can. Obviously it's gonna be a pretty slow process because we've got to dig down pretty far. We can pretty much get there with that digger, but we are going to have to do a certain element of hand dig. But we're actually going to get some shutter in inside there because, as you can imagine, 2.5 meters is a long way down, and we don't want to be in a hole without these sides being shored up. Because if some of this clay collapses in on you, it's going to work. So we don't want that. So Ollie's just turned it with the topsoil as well. That's going to go in the French drain. So he'll be getting that loaded out, and Joe will be helping me get rid of this additional soil from the footings well i say soil that's uh it's clay it's clay it's definitely clay so we've got our little walkway set up now so this is gonna reduce the amount of mud everywhere and then i've got my little platform there to start digging because the edge of that was actually fading away a little bit as i drove on it so important to keep me safe don't want me falling down that hole now do we What you've seen me doing is using this 600 bucket to dig out the foot in. So as I'm getting deeper and deeper down, obviously I'm limited with my reach and also I don't want to go too far with the bucket because I'm not taking too much out. So it's getting pretty tough down there. Come and have a look down here, Joe. It's actually really solid clay down there. So what I've done now is I've changed it to the smaller bucket to a 300 bucket, which means I've got more pressure in a smaller area. So now I can scrape through that clay a lot easier, so it's making for much easier digging, because otherwise that is gonna take me forever and a day. All right guys, thought I'd give you a little update on the dig out. Currently, I'm getting a little bit wet and muddy. 
this is what I'm doing anyway. Exposing all of these clay pipes, excavating around them. It's not just clay pipes running through here. If you look a little bit closer, got some old lead pipes as well, running through there and back off around that way. So as you can imagine, I've got to be really, really careful when I'm digging around this. Taking it nice and slow, getting it all exposed. Best thing to do when you're doing something like this is really take your time. You do not want to go through one of them clay pipes. We all know what's inside. Having fun, lads? Yes, go on, yes. Loads of fun. Ooh, I'm with my hands now, to be honest. So obviously yes, when you're digging with a digger, you can't get right the way in. Well, you can get right the way in, but your bucket angle will always drag away like this. There's always going to be a certain element where you've got to dig by hand. Man shovel. The man shovel. It's a proper shovel, that, are they? Yes. So we have got pretty much as far as we can get now. I've got down to as far as I can with the digger. We're about 2.2 meters down there and then 2.1 down there. Obviously it just needs scraping out. We'll just shore the rest of that out, square the corners up and then get our shuttering in and we're good to go. So we've got the concrete pour booked in now. And like I mentioned before, we're just gonna get this area poured. So this is all nice and secure because we've got a big dig to do across here at 2.5 meter depth all the way across there. And then the return which comes in about here so we want to make sure this is all nice and safe because the last thing i want to do is be balancing with a digger right next to that balancing in there with a massive trench dug out there as well so it's not going to be very safe so if we get this all poured this has gone off this is nice and solid the ground's back to how it should be so it should be a lot safer than digging this area out here so that is basically the end of day five it's friday so we're having a tidy friday make sure everything's nice and cleaned up ollie's just finished that bit over there all right ollie he's just finished that so that french drain is nicely done now all covered over with topsoil. The clients are going to put grass seed on here rather than turf it. You've been watching all of us guys from Build with A&E, mainly Joe, Ollie, and me. Oi! Have a nice weekend. See you later.